Random Extrude, the script that make Inception, Interstellar, Star Wars, or not any of that. Stop wasting my time. Let's begin with the dark theme Python. So beautiful. First, I'm gonna create a random extrude function, then I'm gonna build the UI for it after. Simply tell it to grab the selected object, tell it the method that you want it to extrude. Get every selected polygons. And here comes our first problem. MaxScript has this type of value called bitarray. And it looked like that. Now let's try to loop through the bitarray. What the fuck is that? Yeah, it's not the same language, so Python doesn't know what bitarray is. We're gonna have to help it by creating a function to convert it into array, which Python knows. Here I define a MaxScript function. For those of you who's not familiar with MaxScript, fn is like def when you define a function for MaxScript. So a MaxScript function executed in Python that can convert bitarray into array. And we call that function with rt dot then MaxScript function. This is because it's MaxScript function, not Python function. So we have to call it with Python runtime. Let's see if I'm right. That's more like it. Now we loop through the array and create a random number. And of course, we need to import the random module. Select that one polygon from the array and set the amount of extrude to the random number that we created, then hit extrude. Control E to run the script. Okay, looks like it's working. It would be nice if it selected uh, extruded polygons. Great. Define a function for the entire thing so we can call it later when we want. Make sure it's editable poorly or it will crash our script. Test the function to see if it works. Awesome. And make sure to save the file, there's no auto back. So be careful. Now we're gonna use cute, yes it's pronounced as cute, not cutie. Cute to create the user interface from scratch. Have you ever heard of ChatGPT? Well, yeah. We're going to create a user interface with AI. Let's begin with Bard, the newest AI from Google. I want a window with the top image banner, two spinners of maximum and minimum value, and then a button called random extrude. I'm gonna use VS Code because I don't have to modify anything for it to work. Bard began by crashing on me. Not a good start, but I'm gonna give it multiple chances to fix it. At this point, I feel like it's not going anywhere, but I'm gonna give it another chance and start over. As a side note, this video was recorded before a massive update for Google AI products on May 10th, and BART is included. So yeah, if I redo this again, I believe I'll get a better result. Cause from what I heard, Bard is now smarter than ever and it will take over the world. But for now, this is the end result. The spinners are either too short or too long that it goes over the UI. GPT. It's time for the king of AI for now. We're gonna use the same prompt and see what happened. Good start, let's keep going. These AI products, they get updated daily. If I don't finish a video within a day, which is very likely, it will certainly be outdated by the time it gets posted. Which makes it really hard for someone to try to follow the steps because the AI produced vastly different result. Anyway, ChatGPT is doing great here. I'm satisfied with how this turns out. But now I have some bad news. We're gonna have to do some cleanup. I'm cleaning up some unused stuff that the AI left behind. This is the thing about AI. You give it more prompts, it generates more codes, but it doesn't go back and clean up the stuff that it doesn't use. Let's print something when the button is pushed so that we know it works. The AI gave me the code to generate a top banner. I'm creating a new variable called pixmap with the qpixmap and the whole image path. So when I want to call it, I just call the variable instead. I'm adding some paddings to give it some space between the edge and the widgets. 
The padding is also added to the image banner, which is not what I want. So I'm gonna take the image out of the cube grid layout. I will then have to tweak the padding and the size of the UI to make sure it looks okay. Now this is exactly what I want and the button is working. I removed the widget out of the top row and I'm coming back to fix the row number. It is not necessary, it doesn't even make the difference, it's just a good practice. We're saving but take a look closely at the background color and the font color. Do you notice the difference? The color is shifted because we accidentally saved it in max script. We need to resave it in Python. Now it's okay. We're close to finish, let's keep going. I'm copying the image to the user folder so that we can call it from max system directories. Right here is where I execute the function script. I did try appending the script to the system path and then import it as module. But then I feel like this is simpler. Let me know what you think. Running this crashes right away because we're using RT without importing RT. It's finally the time where we call the function from the UI. I'm adding value max and min arguments to get the value from the spinners. Then add the max and min parameters to the button signals. And it really should have worked if I didn't forget the self and the lambda function. So I'm gonna add them. It looks like it's working fine until we do some undo. You will find that it only undo polygon by polygon. So let's fix that. But first I want to change the maximum value and the default value for those spinners. Back to fixing the undo. I'm adding the with python undo function. Everything inside the indentation will undo all at once. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we just finished random extrude script.